learning the lesson Science in Everyday Life. But before we go into our lesson, I will be asking you one funny riddle related to clothes. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Okay, here we go. What kind of clothes do houses wear? Think, think, take your time. On, go out and look at your house. What is wearing? Addresses. Houses wear addresses. Okay, now listen carefully. It is about science. This can be seen all around us from the moment we wake up till we go to bed. Even when we sleep, there are signs in everything. But what is the actual meaning of signs? But what is the actual meaning of signs? Science is the study of world around us, which has systematic and logical explanation for everything that is happening around us. Have you ever wondered anything like why do leaves fall in autumn or why do we get hiccups or why do beer has fur? People have knowledgeable answers for these curious questions and that is science. Kitchen, Kids and Science For kids like us to explore science Kitchen is the right place to start Do you know how hot water, idli, ice cubes, cake are made? Do you know what process in the thunder goes? All these involve science So it is in kitchen where you can learn important concepts like Boiling, streaming, refrigerating, baking, etc. Please make sure that you explore all this with adult supervision. That is how we can become smart and safe kids. Objectives of today's lesson are Different kinds of clothes, story of cloth, clothes and seasons, types of clothes, mainly uniform, washing clothes and special dresses. We will see each of the topics in detail. Kinds of clothes. We have cloth and clothes. Cloth is a material which we use to stitch clothes. Clothes are the dresses which we wear. It can be either stitched or unstitched. Stitched like pants, shirts, skirts, or unstitched like saris and dhotis. Here are some items made with cloth. Hanky, bedsheet, pillow cover, towel, bandage, cushions, and curtains. Story of cloth. Element youth, leaves, and animal skin as clothes to wear but nowadays we have many different types of materials such as cotton wool and silk we get cotton from cotton plant we get wool from sheep we get silk from silkworm i have a small video of how clothes are made let's watch that Let's see how we get clothes from cotton, wool and silk. Cotton grows in pods on cotton plants. We spin this cotton into thread. Then we weave the thread into cloth on a loom. Wool from sheep is knitted into sweaters. Nowadays, Woolen clothes are also made by machines. A silkworm loves to eat the leaves of a mulberry plant. Clothes and seasons. We all know there are four seasons. Summer, winter, autumn, spring. 
In each season, we wear different clothes depending on the climate. And we wear clothes to protect our body from dust, heat, cold, rain, insects, germs, and small injuries. It will be very hot. For that, we will wear hats and cotton, cotton clothes to keep us cool. In winter, it will be very cold. For that, we will use scarf, sweater, jerkin, and all in woolen clothes to keep us warm. In rainy days, we will wear raincoat and hold the umbrella to protect us from rain. Types of clothes, mainly uniform. Most of us will wear uniform. Students will wear uniform to school to show equality. Other society helpers like fireman, doctor, nurse, policeman and chef also wear uniform for that we can easily identify them for example policeman will wear khaki fireman wear red clothes doctor wear white coat washing clothes the clothes we wear should be neat and clean when we dress neatly, we look smart. Steps of washing clothes. Have you ever seen your mom washing? What will she do? First, she will soak in detergent water. Then apply soap, brush the dirt, wash it nicely, rinse it at least three times. Then she will squeeze it and dry it. Many of us will use washing machine nowadays. Special clothes. When we participate in play, dance or fancy dress competition called as we wear special clothes called as costumes. People all over the world have traditional dresses. In India, in each state, People have their own traditional dress. Some of the traditional dresses are as follows.
Nowadays, there are so many types of materials other than cotton, wool, and silk, which we will learn as we continue to explore science in everyday life. Thank you. Bye bye.